after about two weeks or so of work with them, it was a Friday night after service, he turned to me and said, hey John, why don't you come with me tonight? All the French chefs from Washington get together once in a while, tonight's the night. He said, your French is good enough, you can hang with us. Yeah. <laughs> so we went down to the Mayflower Hotel and I met all the French chefs in Washington. Uh, this one gentleman who we became friends with, his name was uh, Pierre Chauvin, uh, a very well-known local chef. We became friends, talked about job possibilities over the next couple of years, and then I heard that he started working at the White House. I said, wow, that's pretty cool, Pierre's at the White House. And about a year or so later, about a year and a half later, I get a fateful phone call from him saying that, hey, John, you know, I'm in here at the White House for a year and a half or so. I'm as the sous chef, but they brought me in in anticipation of getting the chef position, but they knew the chef was retiring. He says, um, so that's going to happen in the next six months here, and I'm looking for someone to replace me. Would you be interested? And I said, let me think about this. Absolutely. I said, <laughs> So what do I need to do? What do I need to sign? You know, just tell me, you know. So we, we met and talked about the position. He said, you know, uh, there's five full-time chefs in the White House kitchen. You have two in the pastry and three in the cooking side. He says, I'm French born, but yet to be an American citizen to work full time. The pastry chef is French born, but he's an American citizen too. He said that I can bring another Frenchman in that's an American citizen, but I think it's too many French people. <laughs> he said, what I'm looking for is an American that knows something about French cooking. So uh, little did I know that little Sejour in France is what set me apart from the other candidates and got me in. So in 1992, I had the great honor to start working with uh, George H. W. Bush and Mrs. Bush there. And not knowing, you know, coming from you know, hotels and restaurants and type of country club type places, to be suddenly catapulted up to the second floor of the White House, living inside the ring of the Secret Service, inside their personal quarters, was just extraordinary, you know? And it wasn't because it had any political connections, it was having to know the right chef at the right time there, you're looking for that right person for that moment there, you know? So